Hey everybody, welcome back to Ref Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And we're playing Dark Souls 3. I look like a fucking badass edition. You I'm wanna use your purging stone? Marveling am I. What do you mean? What's that do? It do makes you pretty. What? I am pretty. You got a whole bunch of them when you were in the, the I place. I am pretty. Sure. Use it. Do it. Good day. Look at you. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at that smooth skin. Is that how I started the game? Uh, yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. And this mustache does not get any prettier. I like, think this is like the second time you've ever had your pretty face. Or third time. I think you used one purging stone once and then this time. And then you were also, I think you started out this way. You think I started out this way? I probably didn't. I probably started out all nasty and wrinkled and shit. Yeah. Should now you can it? kill these guys or you can just run on, blast on through. Blast on through, Travis. So what do you want to talk about, Marcus? I want to talk about your fuzzy pickle dick, Travis. <laughs> Inside jokes don't really work very well. With, no, they don't. With a broad audience. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 no. I scared him. <laughs> I scared him off. I just want to focus on the game, Travis. We need to talk about the lore. Tell me about this place. Where are we? Oh, shit. So we're in the... Why are all these decapitated people here? What, the, what are these thralls doing here, Travis? We're in the consumed, king, consumed gardens. Um, they're obviously consumed with poison, as you can see. Um, but the consumed king, or the king, or whatever, is is the actual king of Lothric, like or Londor, Londor, whatever, wherever the fuck we are now. Um, it's Lothric, isn't it? It's Lothric. It is Lothric. Um, so he's the actual king. I thought Lothric was where uh... Lothric is the prince, as well as the kingdom. I think he names his. Son after his kingdom, dude. I don't even what a remember. You can jump off of that. Man. Yeah, see, consumed king's garden. So this is the he's been. So he's not consumed as by poison by like being eaten. He's consumed in the like his his he's gone ment he's gone mentally in, he's gone insane. hollow he's gone insane and he's consumed with this one. Thought and really, we don't kind of really know what this one thing, what he is consumed with at this point in time. Uh, but we, we will. Ooh, that looked cool. It's a dragon scale ring. There you go. Reduce the damage from back. And his, it says, "Ring of Osiris, former king of Lothric." That's right. So. Um, it says, in his later years, Osiris became fascinated with dragons. So that's probably what he was consumed with, with this fascination of dragons. After going mad, he was more commonly known as the Consumed King. Many assassins were dispatched to his domain, but none returned. The Consumed King ascribed his resilience to the divine protection of the dragon scale. But... So that that's pretty much like a, a large chunk of the lore of this guy is in that one ring. So does the previous place that oh you shit better go finish him. Does the place that we were in previously the prison tie into this place at all? Uh, because it had all like the malformed like uh fetal looking things. Oh, you shouldn't have jumped down there. Why? Oh, that's why! <laughs> no! Because you don't want to have to fight two of those things at once if you accidentally piss it. You're right, I don't. I'm going to do that one over, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I usually just piss him off, and then he runs all the way around to come come mm. fight you where you are. So that's good. Mm. But if you want, like I said, um, oh, you sent up the elevator. So you can actually just run past everybody and grab the elevator. You don't have to wait for it to come. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, a stray, like, what are they called? Thrall will come yeah. after you and, and fight you there, but that's about it. What, I mean, so Thrall is, like, used in a lot of different things. Is that just to describe a tiny little, like... Are you talking about thing? the word, what the word Thrall means? Yeah. Thrall could... essentially means in, uh, a slave. That's um, weird. It has a slightly you different... motherfucker! It has a slightly different connotation than the word slave does, but it is essentially, like, a slave. Or a mind slave. Somebody who's enslaved of the mind, if not the body. Although there's an argument that one is one and the other. That was not worth it. I didn't know when it was, <laughs> and I didn't want to miss it. And that guy was fucking shit up. I don't know, because uh, I know in Magic the Gathering, like there's thralls as a type, and uh, 
they look a lot like those guys. So I don't know if they borrowed from oh, oh, the no. aesthetics eh, of no. MTG or probably not. Probably or, probably did. Not in a way that they would admit to. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, no, everything's original here. Yeah, but Some I mean, like you know, butt. people with like canvas bags on their head is not is not. Like, well, no, they don't have canvas bags on their head. It's... Boom, bitch! Get out the oh, way! Oh, that's Get too bad. out the way! It keeps stopping. It's because whenever you cast it, it like it's kind of like making a sound, and as it hits the wall, so it, you know, it's it's him. Like, what is that? <laughs> you, need to, you need to backstab these guys. <gasps> Shit, you're right. Why didn't I think of that? You did it for that one guy, and you kicked his ass. Now you're all like. Well, I do you see how, how broad to... sweeping this guy's shit is? I forgot how to play. You should get your souls, too. <laughs> Thank you, coach. <laughs> Thanks, God. dad. Man. Good thing you're pure. I don't know what I would do without you. I know, right? You're fucking... All right, this part, this after this next Cathedral Night, it's fucking awesome. I love the whole, like, entryway to the Consumed King. <gasps> I have to fight the Consumed King? What? Of course you do. What? Um, this don't, isn't going well. Dump that stupid ass staff. No! No, you <laughs> oh, <fuck>. bitch, you <laughs> dead. <laughs> You're not going to have any uh, any of these uh, potions to... You know, that amount of health he can still kill you with. No. Stop. What, is it? what was that? He stepped on your toe. Is that what he did? I don't know what he did. Man. Exactly. But what you should do is backstab him. Shut the front door, Travis. Also, you have a shield, but you're not using it. I try! Sometimes. Every now and then. Well, I mean, like, if you're not going to use your shield, you should get rid of it. And two-hand. I should But if you're going to use I your shield, you should use it. I like to keep my options open, so I can either roll like a badass, or chomp chain <laughs> use my shield like a sure, badass. Sure, sure. So this isn't going to work like last time, because I didn't send it uh uh, you can wait and then just kill the thrall that comes after you. Eh. And fucking... Does that... God, son of a cocksucker! Fucking... I said kill the thrall, not get killed by the thrall. Oh, God, why don't you clarify these things, Travis? You, you suck oh, at music. He was man. on your ass, dude. Oh, my oh, God. No. Oh, no. No! Okay, remember, the walls exist only for the player, not for the enemy. So if an enemy can hit you through a wall... You can't. Because <laughs> this game is like, fuck you. Because Dark Souls. Also, this time, don't jump off the edge. You know, you gotta look. For... Man, you are full yeah. of the most, like, Helpful insightful advice. shit. I know, today. right? <laughs> I'm fucking I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, I did it. I did it. Glory be to me. Champion. Anyway. What the hell were we talking about? We got real distracted. You were telling me that Osiris is consumed and no, the things here are not. Right. So you know how the whole game I've been talking about how everybody has been super upset. I thought someone was stealing your souls. I was like, what are these souls? <laughs> no, don't touch those. Those are mine. <laughs> um, the whole game, you've been seeing people get turned into like dragons and shit. You've seen, you've seen those people who are kind of turning into trees right going up in the beginning mm -hmm. during the uh on the high wall oh he gave up in the prison you've seen the people who are half dragon kind of mm -hmm. you know like some sort of weird abominations uh almost like hid away like they were embarrassed and didn't want people to know about them or not embarrassed but like ashamed or i, I don't know um, this is so great uh, I'm super good at this game. You got a backstab. <laughs> so anyway, so so, so whole... I'm thinking I need to rethink my strategy here, Travis. Yeah, I've been then... trying to smash him in the face with my weapon. And... You know what's weird too is that you've also seen the Puss of Man. Now I'm not saying the Puss of Man is dragon related. Yeah, but it might be. I was gonna ask it about that because they're definitely serpentine. Right, they and... are kind of serpentine, but they're also very like oily and of the abyss kind of. So they're very like, and they're called the bus of man, right? So it kind of lends to itself that like maybe not, or maybe it's the thing within us that allows us to become dragons, or or maybe the thought is that that abyss, that pus, is what 
because of its similarity to dragons, is what prompted the idea among man that we could rise to the glory of dragons. Who the fuck knows? The point is, is that this whole time we find out that there's this king who's become obsessed with becoming a dragon, right? Or be, be of just with dragons. I mean, so now legit. we're finding out that like, oh well, shit. Well, maybe all that dragon stuff is because of him, right? Because it's, maybe it's of the king, and we don't really know much about the king until now. So now we're finding out like, okay, well, we heard about a prince, a right? We heard about, about a lot about Lothric. He's the one that's supposed to light the flame. He was born and raised to light that fucking flame, and then he, he hasn't. So that's why you have popped into existence to come after him, essentially. Your whole goal is to just say, fuck you, do it. I'm going to make you do it. Um, so this is a complex family. We got one dad who's like obsessed with dragons, and then you got son who's like supposed to be doing some pretty important things, and he's just like shirking it. He's you know, like we can only rat. assume that you. that Osiris is, is Lothric's. Uh, father, it said that was once king. For all we know, mm -hmm. he could be like his grandfather, his great grandfather, his great great grand. Yeah, like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I assume it's his father because otherwise you get too overly complex. Which yeah, Dark Souls would never. Dark Souls is very simple. <laughs> Storyline's <laughs> very straightforward and accessible. Okay. Yeah. So I, um. So I don't know. So, oh, God, Travis, what didn't you tell me? I've been telling you this whole time that you should backstab, and now that you did, look at that. You didn't even get. You didn't even touch you. I don't know. Well, if my coach would have told me like the key told to you, it was the things. first thing I told you. Look at this. This whole episode is just you getting to the goddamn boss. <laughs> what do you mean? This is I, this is my flawless. No. This is my flawless no, victory you run. Bastard. Okay, there you go. All right. I haven't died once. <laughs> In this whole game. Yeah, it's been amazing. That's why I'm level a bajillion. Because <laughs> I've lost zero souls. Yeah, actually. I don't think you've lost that many souls over the course of this. Yeah! Sure that it. ring, you should actually put on. Yeah, let's read it. I never wear rings that I don't read first. It's up here. It's this one. Stone plates are symbols of true knights, and blue stone plates are granted to the royal palace guards. Increases magic damage absorption. This fight has a good chunk of magic damage, so it would be helpful... Probably if you one. do not plan on using an actual spell, then you should dump one of your spell spots, slots. Yeah. So um, spell let's spot, watch. Spots. Let's walk closely and slowly, oh. and listen. Isn't that sound freaky? It's awesome. The first time, I was terrified to go through this door. I had no idea what to expect. And I just heard this freaky ass, like, sound. Yeah. I did not want to go in. Yeah, the ambiance of it, it's fucking Scares baller. The crap out of me. We ready? Good luck. Slaves, finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up, for he is all that I have. So it looks like he's kind of, <coughs> he's kind of become the dragon he wanted to become. I don't know if this is the one he wanted to be, but. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, you are not doing good damage no, against him. No, I'm not. This is not a good 
portent of the oncoming. Mm. Okay, got it. Get away Fine. when he does that. Okay. Alright, well, that's good. Um, so, you can actually run past everybody. Yeah. Even the big, the big guys. Um, so, you know how they're... He was holding... He was talking about this someone named Ocelot. And he's, like, holding his hands like he's got something in it. Mm -hmm. And then he, like, holds it to him. So there was originally supposed to be, like, a baby in his hands. But... I... What some... What... I, I think what they did was they removed it. But they didn't bother changing his, like, animation. animation. Yeah. So they must have removed... And his talking... He's talking about it, too, which is even weirder. Like, why would you go through... Why would you remove the entire subject of, you know, of his lines and his body language? Mm -hmm. Like, it all revolves around Ocelot, who's not there. So it's very like, what? Uh, it's because partway through the fight, something happens to Ocelot, which I can only imagine that they thought would be too dramatic, too intense. Really? You think that Dark Souls, uh, like, you're like, nah, it's a little much. Nothing really bad has ever happened to a baby. Oh, they wait for Bloodborne for that shit. Yeah, right. I know, right? So that's what's kind of confusing is because, well, this is after Bloodborne too. this game. Oh, well, then, yeah. I mean, I, well, it's not in the same series. And I mean, but Bloodborne also, was super duper dark. Like, exactly, exactly. So I don't know why, why they made that choice. I think it was a bad choice. Uh, and it makes no sense now. They could have also changed other things. If they were going to remove it, then they should have changed his lines, and they should have changed his animation. I've actually seen a few videos on this guy, because I think he's super interesting. Oh, okay, great. <clears throat> and I've heard different theories about that as well. Okay, all right. So you already knew about the fact that, like, he's clearly... this is There's clearly an error here, right? Uh, that's... One of the, th the theories doesn't think it's an error. They think that like, he's insane. One, he's insane. I've heard that. I've heard that theory before too. By the way, that jump, kind of hard to dodge. I I always have problems dodging. And I can't block it. Uh, I mean, you can try. I don't know how it works, but his tail is a pretty easy target to nab onto. Um, nice. they think that he's invisible. I've heard that one too. I think that's a stretch because. I like, mean, it could be, but don't don't bother. I, well, Travis, I, I'm not having a lot of success either way. But, um... Oh, God you grab your soul. You did not bother. Nah. Alright. Because uh, I know what you're talking about at the part with yeah, the fight. doing that. I know, I know, I know, I know. And, and it still supports the, the thing that happens part way through the putt. Through the fight, right? that he's invisible. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I still think it's kind of a stretch. It's, that it's hokey, yeah. Off. But yeah, I mean, there's no the invisible dragons spot. elsewhere in the game, or gone? in any of the games. Like, there's Are no precedent that dragons me? come out. Um, come out. Don't be afraid. Right, but at the oh, same time. So then, fear? this this line though. No. I am. No. Oh. Show yourself, Ocelot. I can't believe you're still alive. Um, that line about him, like, wondering where he is, um, Ouch. can Ouch. support the invisible theory, but it also can support the he's I'm gone a, mad. insane theory. I think the insanity theory... I, I like the insanity, yeah. Yeah, the insanity theory is probably a little bit closer, because, one, um... He always wanted to be a dragon-ish, right? Let's say that Lothric is his son. Maybe he doesn't like Lothric or accept Lothric because he's He's made not... a better one. Yeah, he's made a better one in his head. Yeah. You know, as to why his imaginary son goes missing, I mean, there's no real explanation for mental illness, you know? Like, I, I don't really know a way to rationalize that sort of... No, that's... Um, you look, yeah, he just smashed him. Right, and that's the part that 
And then he starts to freak out about it, too. I switch back to so, yeah, this this is like phase-ish, too. When he yeah, starts, and I, it, I, it gets I think a lot I, harder and faster. I think I need a different weapon for this. I have other weapons kind of beefed Let's take a look up. at your shield, too. Are you, You're rocking the uh, fire shield. Why don't you bust out the normal crest shield instead of the... Uh, the dragon crest shield. Let's right. see. I have. Let's go with a magic defense weapon. Well, I just want to see like the best. Uh, the best weapon would be a lightning, right? Because he's a dragon. Yeah. Right. But I don't think I qualify. I don't for think it. you have any lightning weapons that you can use with int. That's a faith kind of deal mm -hmm. usually. Uh, what crest shield is it? This one. Yes. Magic. No, that's six, the dark seven. one. Oh shit! Which one's the magic one? Oh no! You don't have it. So just go with whichever one's better for magic. Huh. Mm, they're the same. Okay, well then it doesn't matter. Keep what you got. <clears throat> uh, but I feel like a different weapon would be helpful, even if it's just I don't know. You want a faster weapon? But here's the thing: you'd have to beef it up too. Do you have another weapon you've been beefing up? I feel like I've at least a little bit, but I have broadsword plus four. I mean, that was a while back. You'd have to you'd have to increase it, or you could just increase the weapon you currently are using some more now that you have all those chunks. Yeah, uh, but I just feel like it's so like you're not going to be using it for much longer. No, you I just wanna... feel like his resistance is so high. It really is quite. That yeah, I feel like just going with yeah, raw damage. You're doing, or... you're doing real shit damage. Yeah, that's but what I feel like. Your stats are this. This isn't good stats because your stats don't support. That's the what one ninety five, and that's well. Who knows what is this is only this physical is only one fifty, and who knows how much he's negating of the fire. Right. So uh, I can go beef this up. I guess this is like a super noob thing. Uh, maybe I can put electric on it. Maybe because you got another. Yeah, on. I'd go with a slashing weapon over a uh, thrusting weapon. Yeah, let's go beef the broadsword and uh, see if we can like put a gem on it or something. All right, let's give that a whirl. We'll come back to this. All right, so we um, we switched to a broadsword. Uh, you wanted to try a faster weapon. It's and a little just bit something that wasn't so like weak. Well, it's weak. Two. In fact, it's weaker, but it is faster, so the chances are that, you know, you can get in two or three hits in a go. Um, you've actually given it this boss a couple of runs since we came back, too, but... Uh, and you we actually... <laughs> you actually did pretty good on some of them. Yeah, like, This I is the know. one it's where you're so gonna win. Fuck. It's just so disappointing when you're, like, that there. Yeah, yeah. And it just, it's really disheartening for the next run. Like, I'm gonna suck dick this run. Like, I, you can, know, is I that can tell already. You didn't... And, like, I was telling you at the end of it to not get greedy. And, and you did not get greedy. Like, you... You were trying to actively dodge out of that last one. Mm. You know? Like, but he just got you. That's all. But you, you both had like the same amount of hit points. <laughs> We're like five hit points left. You're like, <sighs> and I've gotten like I, that's how we got Aldrich. Honestly, maybe getting greedy in that moment would have helped. Yeah, who knows? It it didn't. I wasn't gonna um, tell you, but you I could definitely. ember. Did you, oh, did you not like? Did you ember? Yeah. I just. Oh yeah, you are. <sighs> Sorry, I was like talking to myself or thinking to myself. I didn't notice. God damn it! Now I have to take up two. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I've gotten pinned by that guy so many fucking times. I know, that guy's is really good at that. Like, pinned to death. Oh yeah, once he gets you in that corner, you are dead. Like, I've never seen that happen, but it happened like three times to you. Yeah, it's And I've awesome. never seen it happen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is great. Although it is a good thing, you used all, all but, what, one of your Estuses last time? Oh, yeah, I had one remaining. So, I mean, you got, it was good, it was worthwhile to dump your, Where have you um, gone? Your Are you hiding Estus. from me? Yo, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna be casting on this guy. Come no way. Fuck me! See, I told you this one was gonna suck. Yeah, you gotta take it easy, man. No! I'm all, like, tense now. You're all heated up because you, uh, you were telling me about this argument that you had with your coworker. And then now I'm getting a visceral reaction. My heart rate's elevated. Now you're, now you're My actually muscles are all tense. angry. Let's talk about some chill. No. Like some no, I can't talk about anything chill until I kick this guy's ass. All right, well, let's talk and about some tense then. What's no. Tense? Hey, North Korea. <laughs> that used to be tense, right? I mean, right? Oh, my God. And so We were, like, like, on the brink of war. Fire and brimstone, baby. I don't know about that. 
I never had much confidence in North Korea. I always considered them to be like just like fucking farmers with picks, you know, like yelling at at robots. Just well, like like what are you doing, man? And of course they got a nuclear program and everything, but I never I always thought of it as like janky and stupid. Like we just shoot it down in two seconds. So yeah, almost, but I mean, it's still a nuclear program. Yeah, like, sure, sure. But I just never really considered it to be a real. Yeah, threat. they're like, we're testing missiles over here, everybody. Take us seriously, yeah. and I was like, yeah, okay. So I was never really that afraid. Um, I don't know. Living on the west coast, though, <laughs> yeah. we're not that far away. I don't know. There's not. We're not exact where we are. I wouldn't say is a major target. No, like you know, L.A. or Seattle would be bigger. But I think if they were gonna do it, it depends on what their purpose was. If their purpose was military like damage, then they should hit Hawaii. And if their purpose was yes. like fear or whatever, then they should hit like L.A. Um, or maybe San Francisco. Yeah, we're or pretty... Seattle at the mat at the closest. Portland. We're kind of low key and low. Uh, we're pretty chill over low here. Low profile, I would say. Yeah, I don't think other countries like see. It. Oh, Portland! If we get Portland, their their yeah, defenses yeah. are crippled. Right, right. We're we're not one of the the like key cities that defines America. Dear little Ocelot, no, we could. Oh yeah, if we take out like the other four cities that are bigger than us on the west coast, <laughs> then it's just us, baby. <laughs> But uh, I told you I was reading a book on the Korean War, right? Uh, maybe. No. Oh, we so haven't really talked or hung out in like months. I know we've been busy. Uh, but it was pretty enlightening because I didn't know anything about it really. Okay. And it was just kind of a proxy war Watch between out. between America and China, which really was kind of a proxy war between America and Russia. Right. Because and it's like, I can see how North Korea is so fucking, like, shitty and poor and, like, completely isolated. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, whoa, oh, nice. North Korea got a little antsy and did a little invasion of South Korea. Uh, and then the United States came over and said, I don't fucking think so. And, like, cleared out uh, North Korea, like, not only pushed them back to their border, but, like, all the way back to China. Like, right. just destroyed shit. I heard, too, that, like, they were expecting some sort of... I was listening to a podcast. I was, Weren't they, like, expecting... North Korea was expecting some sort of aid or something from Russia or China? I think it was Russia. And yeah. And they said, like, no at, like, yeah. a zero hour. Or so, something, or something like Nor that. North Korea didn't actually, like, really fight this war. It was Chinese troops versus American troops, essentially. Okay. It just happened to be in North Korea. I mean, North Koreans started it, but... Uh, you know, it was, they it was, started it, then used someone else's troops to fight it? That's, well, that's I mean, the way to do a war. <laughs> North Korea didn't win anything in that war. They, oh my but, fucking god. The door is open. Why, just walk out. Oh god, why didn't I do this before? <laughs> yeah, their land got destroyed. All their farms were just fucked. Um, I'm going to take another one. Okay. Yeah, all right. And, uh, Watch out. No, China, like, so the book that I read uh, was based on, it was historical, but historical fiction, you know? Like, oh, really? Um, oh, you mean it was a lot of, like... Told from the perspective of perspective a, a real person. Their but. conversations, but of course they're not actual transcripts, they're just... Yes, yeah. Like, for dramatic effect. Yeah, and it yeah. followed a actual, like, soldier and stuff, and it Got goes it. through the events, but does it in a way that it's fun to read and shit. <laughs> right, right. It's uh, history light. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Um, but it did, it told the side of one of the Chinese generals, and there was a Russian, like, um, I don't know if he was like a, like a confidant or what, but there was a, a guy from Russia with them, and, oh, fuck me. He kept tabs on them? No. Oh, shit. No. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Well, you got this, man. And you got this. I don't want to have it. So, but the Russian spy, mm -hmm. and he wasn't a spy per se, right? Like, like I said, they knew that he was there and uh, reporting back to Moscow, or, you know, they didn't know, but they had a suspicion. And he was indeed reporting back to Moscow, and Moscow was like, you know what? I think we're going to sit this one out. 
Because China was absolutely anticipating aid from... Right, exactly, yeah. And I'm, from what I heard is that, like, North... The, 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 the guy who was in charge at that time of North Korea, that Kim Jong... No. He was one of the ones. Or maybe he wasn't in charge at the time, but he took control. Uh, anyway. Dear Natasha, no, no, that's right. China gave him... Where have you gone? I didn't... Oh, it, it installed didn't, it. Like, they, I don't know. It didn't cover the whole war. It just covered, like, the first... Like Come major out. battles, because oh, okay. it was supposed to be like this little minor dinky thing, right? It was supposed to be all right, push them back, and we win, and that's it. Because the higher ups kept thinking like this is going to be a cakewalk, like needs zero resistance, and then uh, they weren't really anticipating China getting involved, and that's why so fucking many people died. God. Yeah, that stomp it. Motherfucker, what a way to start. God damn it. Oh, oh through. <laughs> he smashed me. You son of a bitch. You want an Amber? Uh, not right now, Travis. Okay. I mean, takes... if, I, if I'm gonna Ember, I'm not gonna do it on a shit run that starts off poorly. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, then you don't need it, right? If it starts really good and you're doing great, right? You what? wouldn't no. need to Ember. Just stop. Just stop it, Travis. I'm gonna square check it. Did you say square chicken? <laughs> I'm just square chicken. Sorry, that's a that's another one of those inside jokes that doesn't play well. Out of butter, out of butter. <laughs> oh, you lived. See, now would be a good time, man. Shut up. <laughs> um, oh my <laughs> fucking god. Those fucking stumps. This boss, like this boss and the dancer, like the dancer's way fucking harder. I don't oh. know. Dear this is gosh. not a hard boss. It's because your build is super weak you against the man. You're doing, it's, you have to be good for so much longer because you do so much damage. So it just means you have to be really good. I get it, Travis. Get good. I understand. I just mean is that the amount of time you have to be good is lessened the more damage you can do. So, you know, do more damage and or, get good. or be better. That's the, really the only solution. But since your build is not really designed to fight him because he's strong against magic and you are a magic user, um, you're pretty much owned until... So you just... He's, he's a boss and you just have to be good. How quickly you forget. So, anyway, so now North Korea and South Korea are getting a lock. I was going to try to Amber it, but I'm retarded. You got to push that middle... Uh, wait, there's no middle because it's not PlayStation for shit. What is the button? Select. Does it, is there an like a use ember button? No, no, no. Remember the button that brings up the options. That's where you put your embers. Remember? Oh, yeah. I got to do that beforehand. Uh, you put you put it on your options no, already. Not. You didn't? Mm -hmm. Oh. Anyway, I have like um, my dark sign on there. So like, what dark sign? I don't know. When would you ever use a dark sign? I did something you told me to do. I'm sure. Uh, so anyway, um, they. North Korea and South Korea are kind of getting along now. Well, okay. all thanks to our fearless leader. Yeah, it's, let's say it's a tentative piece, because I feel like they've done these little fake outs before. But, and everyone's kind of like, well, maybe. <laughs> Everybody's hoping for the best, let's just say that. Right? Everybody's hoping for the Everybody's best. Hoping, we're just like, okay, please be real this time. Right? Like, let's make it all be great, because... That would be cool if we could have a not fucking psychopath North Korea. Like, Yeah, right? Um, I had a couple of ideas. One is, I was thinking that, like, oh, maybe his... His uh, generals are starting to like swim the sharks, swim like sharks because he's like, you know, younger and weaker, you know, like his position. But from what I've also heard is that like, no man, it is for real like a hardcore cult over there. Like everybody over there has drank the Kool Aid. Oh yeah, uh, including sure. the generals, right? So it's not like, awesome. it's not like, a, um, not like a, the government's playing them. Right, or the public, yeah, yeah. And, and that they're all fighting each other on the inside, you know, like with like trying anyway. to gain power. Yeah, to exactly. Power. So, so I, I think I've learned that that's probably unlikely to be the case. But then also I've heard. So my other idea was like, well, maybe, um, maybe they're just like he, he's a young guy, right? I yeah. mean, maybe our culture got to him. Not ours personally. It was but, Gangnam know, Style. The outside world culture kind of, you know, like he started watching, for all we know, he's on Reddit, you know, memes, you know, uh, that, you know, for all we know, just culture. Oh, no, they don't have Reddit over there. Uh, the public doesn't have, I bet you he can get whatever he wants. So, 
what I'm saying is that like maybe his culture, like our the world's culture, finally like said so like out. I could be a part of this. The other thing too is that um, maybe you think the Olympics in South Korea had something to do with it. I think that was the beginning of wanting to have talks, not the beginning of wanting to change mind. As in, I bet you that there was an idea before. That. Oh yeah, and that was just a good event, like a yes point to to like kind of start the to breach the broach the subject. Yeah, and um, another thing was that like if you take people um what is it oh shit I'm all like derailed now watching you kick ass <laughs> take names you're doing great dude god damn it you have to say that every fucking time it has there's no there's no such thing as okay alright we'll see we'll see Travis um the only real curse is the curse of humanity <laughs> uh no he um also, I, I was, what I was trying to say is that I think he, uh, that now that the, his nuclear stuff is up and running, right? Like maybe he wanted to. This is this allows him to do something he's been wanting to do, but he's from a more a, a position of, of strength. You know what I mean? That like, okay, I'm a nuclear power now, so now you will listen to me, and you know, you know what I mean? Like he's got more. Respect. Kind of, yeah, like. Because that's how a lot of other nations have done it. Yeah, negotiating, like, the opening up their borders and shit like that. Right, and being on a on a world stage that has power because now you're one of the people who would help blow up the world. So people who listen to you, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Oh best. my god, what the fuck? Watch out, he's charging. I was afraid you were going to drink while he was charging. <sighs> you got it! There this were so many points where I was hitting him yeah. with my sword, yeah. and it wasn't doing dick. It maybe just felt like that. <sighs> oh, no, man, beautiful. We can, I have the footage. Watch out to see if those bad guys are still outside. That'd be hilarious. Shut up. No. That would not be funny. All right, let's go to that bonfire. Light the bonfire. Go back. Level up. And go buy that goddamn sword. Oh, my God. Actually, dude, let's buy the sword first. Such a hard-on about that sword. Dude. Don't give me shit about this sword. This sword is the bomb. So we're going back to. Well, first what we're what we're gonna yeah we're gonna travel back to the bonfire, or just fire link, and then go talk to the sword. Uh, actually, read the soul. Oh yeah, before we transpose it. <laughs> Here, take this. No wait, come back. <laughs> no wait, I forgot. Uh no, it's just regular stuff. Yeah, it's right. Next one. Here. Next one. Here. Next one. Here. There you go. <laughs> Why is this blue? Because it's dragon. Duh. Yep. Osiris went mad trying to harness his royal blood for a greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives, where he discovered the twisted worship of Seath the Pale Drake. I believe this is one of two or maybe just the one mention of Seath by name. Wow. They have mentioned Pale Drake and, and, and things like that before. But I believe Seath by name is only mentioned the one time. And he does kind of look like Seath. Oh, yeah, he does. I, it's really cool how, like, careful they are with their wording and stuff like that. They hide it until, like, boom, right yeah. now. You know? And what's great, too, is that the translation is part of it, too. Because oh, things good. aren't lost in translation. And, in fact, English is a fantastic language to do what they do in. So oh, whoever, like, transform, like, the names over time type thing not just names but just the length every word is fantastic do not buy that that's not even that great a spell but travis no that's the one you want let's read that legendary dragon weapon associated with seath the pale drake osiris the consumed king was infatuated with the search for moonlight but in the end it never revealed itself to him so if we look at its stats, uh, it requires 16 strength. Did I tell you to boost your strength to 16? Mm, I did. No, you were like, pump it up to a billion. Your dex is good. Your int is good. You've got the stats to use this weapon. Buy it. Transpose it. It's all yours, baby. Put it on. Let's give it a swirl. And we'll swirl. call it for the episode. God, you have been on about this sword. Oh, yeah. Because your build, your build is for this thing, man. Since I told you I want to do an imp build, you've been like, this sword! Just wait! Don't use any other weapon except for this sword. Alright, it's on. Uh, I gotta put a thing back on here before I... I don't need to do it. I'll do it later. 
All wow. Right. Look at that. Now swing it. It's just as fast as your other weapon. Now oh, try two handed. Way better. All right. It's got some nice moves. Now use its R2. Whoa, does that go out? Oh, yeah, it just keeps going. I mean, it's got a range, but. Oh, you, you just keep hitting the wall for some reason. Well, I. I was seeing how much stamina it used because all of my stamina went down. It doesn't. Whoa, it, that's fucking cool. It doesn't use magic either. It uses uh, some of the. Oh, the durability. The durability. And durability is better when I rest at the bonfire. Yeah, it gets it gets healed up again. Nice. So yeah, so um, that's the sword, and we'll bump it up some other time. But for now, it's a good place to end it. Um, so that's it. That's it. That's it, everybody. Best episode ever. Uh, for now, this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And until next time, don't go hollow.